and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about e-bike battery fires. It seems to be a hot topic these days and I have had people ask my opinion on it and really I never thought too much about it but I have been looking at it more lately trying to understand what exactly it is and causing these uh, e-bike batteries to catch fire or explode or whichever and you know I couldn't really find a whole lot of information on what's going on but uh it's really interesting to me that a great number of these fires seem to be uh, happening in New York City. I mean, not all of them, but a good number. Like right in New York City, I'm not sure why that is. And so I did a little bit of looking up to see what's going on. And nobody can really pinpoint uh, anything on this, but they are saying that they suspect a lot of this is from lesser known batteries. You know, not your common Samsung or LG batteries, but uh, lesser quality, lesser known batteries. But yet when I did a look up to see specifically which bikes are, are, is this happening on, they didn't really say. I couldn't find nothing on that. So I don't know. Uh, so I don't really know But uh, it looks like um, lesser known batteries, so the lesser quality, I suppose, batteries. And also, there's talk about people that are modifying or trying to modify the batteries. And is it happening more with those folks? But I, like I say, I couldn't really get anything. The story is kind of like out there, but there's not a whole lot of answers on it. But I did notice that New York City is voting or about to put into uh, law about the batteries and uh, banning the sale of, of uh, e-bikes that have batteries that are not UL listed. So that's a safety standard and if they don't have that they will not be able to sell the bikes, so uh, we'll see where this all goes, but uh, I don't know anybody personally that's had any issues with batteries uh, catching fire. Um, I haven't had any problems and uh, you know, I take my uh, bikes right inside the house and charge them right inside the house, but I do not charge my batteries overnight that's just a preference for me i'd rather be there when the bike is being charged i don't uh do it overnight usually i you know do it when i'm home and so in the evening if i'm charging up the battery i will charge it up until you know and it'll usually be charged before i go to bed because i know how long it takes to charge up the battery I never have to charge it up fully because I never let the battery run all the way down. But I can see where people, uh, you know, it raises your anxiety level over this. I think about it too. I mean, I have seen stories, but I, like I said, I didn't think or look too much into it, but I have thought about it like, oh, what, you know, that's not good. And so, uh, but then lately I have been seeing more and I've heard more fires in New York. And so uh, it got me looking again. And uh, so hopefully we can get kind of uh, 
to the bottom of this and maybe know which specifically which bike brands or if, if there's a particular one or which ones are doing this and it, you know or is it a case of you know somebody modifying a battery or building their own batteries or you know I don't mess at all with any of my batteries I just charge them up that's the only thing I do and I don't try to use a charger that's not the one that's specifically for the bike I always use for example I got a one charger for the two batteries for the uh, graffiti so I just charge the batteries if I'm going to charge them up one at a time and uh, I will just specifically use this charger that came with this bike and then for my uh, rad I'll use the, the uh, charger that came with the rad and the same thing with the grizzly I got two battery chargers with the grizzly so I just use those chargers for that bike and those chargers on the grizzly specifically have a specific charger for each battery so you can only charge each battery with their own charger they kind of have their own charger so you can't flip-flop those so anyway uh, let's be careful out there and uh, let's see if we can get a handle on this uh, fire situation because we don't want We don't want fires to be happening. I mean, it's not worth it. The bikes are fun and all, but that's not fun if we get into uh, situations where the batteries are gonna be uh, catching fire. But I hope it's just a, you know, it's just a small, which I think it is, a small portion and, and we can kind of pinpoint, you know, where this is actually coming from. I mean, just imagine all the bikes out there and all the batteries i mean there's tons right i mean i myself i have three bikes two of the bikes have two batteries so that's oh, oh that's four because i hit a pothole and then the rad rover has one battery so there's five batteries right there and i keep all the bikes in the house so uh yeah So uh, let's hope we get a handle on this and I'm going to keep a closer eye on this situation and uh, and see where this goes because uh, we don't want fires to be happening for sure. So let me know in the comments below if you've got any comments on this video or if you if you know anybody that's had a situation with batteries catching fire or either yourself or you know somebody that has had that happen I'd be interested to hear about that and what exactly kind of battery it was So yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on the uh, New York City situation and what happens there with the uh, the ban has not gone into effect yet, but it's any day now kind of deal. So we'll have to see what, where that goes. I kind of like it, like that idea, just for the fact that safety has to come priority over anything else. So let's get safe and then we'll move forward. Well that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. 
thank you for uh, watching this video and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up in the channel hit that notification bell and you'll be notified also if you'd like to purchase the lyric graffiti i do have a link in the descriptions and if you use the code oregon ebiker mark all one word you'll save yourself 150 dollars off the purchase of a bike that's oregon ebiker mark all one word saves you 150 dollars off of the bike so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care